Logan, everybody. It's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song Dead Star by Muse, live at the V Festival back in 2008. Uh, this does come as a request, and they specifically requested that I review the v, v Fest uh, performance of this song specifically. Uh, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, as I've mentioned before, a lot of Muse songs tend to get blocked, uh, regardless of it, whether I'm using the studio version or a live version. So fingers crossed that this one does not get blocked and is allowed to see the light of day. Recently, I've been doing some newer Muse songs because those have uh, been less likely to get blocked. Um, I recently reviewed Propaganda, which I thoroughly disliked, um, and then I also reviewed Panic Station, which eh, was alright. Um, so I'm not sure where this falls in the Muse catalog. I see if this was if this concert was taking place in 2008, then you know maybe it's a little bit on the older side. Um, but I don't know. I like a lot of older Muse. I'm not necessarily a fan of the the near Muse so far. What I've heard. Uh, so hopefully this one holds up to what I've come to expect from them and not what uh, the last couple of songs have given me. So, anyway, let's listen. This is Muse, Dead Star again, live at V-Fest 2008. Here we go.
Yeah, now there is the muse that I have come to appreciate. Not that propaganda stuff, I'll tell you that much. This one was very enjoyable for me. I really liked what I heard. Uh, honestly, from the moment that guitar, that very first guitar riff that Matt Bellamy, Bellamy put down, I was like, okay, this is familiar territory. You know, it wasn't anything like Propaganda or like Panic Station where I was like, yeah, yeah it's different. Yeah, I don't know if I like this. Uh, it was definitely back to kind of what I've uh, come accustomed to for this band. Um, I also really like just the heaviness throughout. This was much heavier than I think a lot of other Muse songs I've heard. And that, that little guitar solo there at the end, that was pretty cool. I liked that a lot. So a lot of really great things from this song. Really had a great time listening to it. Um, really, to me, more representative of, of what I really come to expect from Muse. So yeah, this one was great. Um, let's break it down like we always do. Let's talk about each part. Let's start with those lyrics, of course. So apparently... Dead Star was released with the song In Your World as a promotional double A-side single for Muse's first B-sides slash live album release, Hullabaloo soundtrack. That's kind of cool. So, yeah. Songwriter Matt Bellamy says the inspiration for the song came from watching the hysteria, chaos, and general aftermath following the 9-11 attacks. Oh, okay. I, I don't think I would have gotten that without that bit, tidbit of information there. So with that in mind, I guess let's take a look at it. It says, shame on you for thinking you're an exception. We're all to blame, crashing down to earth, wasting and burning out, yeah, fading like a dead star, whoa, whoa, harm is coming your way, yeah, it's coming your way. Okay, uh, it, it, shame on, for, on you for thinking you're an exception. I wonder if that's like a direct line towards Americans and thinking they're the best of the best, or maybe thinking that like terrorism can't happen to them. I mean, I don't know, I, I, I'm not, I was in fifth grade when 9-11 happened, so I don't remember a whole lot from the time. Uh, other than just the the horror of it, you know, uh, being a fifth grader and, and seeing that kind of thing on the news, uh, super shocking. Um, never had seen anything like that. And and just the, the fallout of it, it was a very scary time, I think, for everybody. But also, like, to be a kid in that time was like, whoa. You know, I feel like, honestly, I feel like a lot of kids are probably going through the same thing right now with COVID. Where it's like, wow, you know, what's going to happen to us? What's our future hold? Um, how is this going to change society and change the world that we live in? So... Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely something that uh, really sticks in there. You know, everybody st says, you know, it, same thing with like Pearl Harbor. Everybody says, I remember where I, w where I was when Pearl Harbor happened. And of course, same thing for 9-11. I remember where I was when 9-11 happened. Um, COVID's a little bit more different because it is a much uh, longer thing that's happening. But uh, it's very interesting. It's definitely going to be something that people will remember forever. Um, used to be everything to me, and now you're tired of fighting, 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 tired of fighting, fighting yourself. Shame on you for thinking you're all alone. If you want, I'll make you wish you were failing to impress. Why can't you sleep with someone who will protect you? Yeah, harm is coming your way. Yeah, it's coming your way. You used to be everything to me, and now you're tired of fighting, 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 tired of fighting, fighting yourself. Fighting yourself, fighting yourself, fighting. You know, I, 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 read, I read what it said there about it being about 9-11 and the aftermath of 9-11. But, uh, you know, when I, if I, when I read the lyrics just by themselves, I, don't, I really don't get that. So I'm um, not sure uh, if I'm just missing the point. Um, I mean, I kind of get it, I guess. Shame on you for, for thinking you're all alone. I guess as, as Americans, we tend to prefer isolationism. You know, uh, the term like globalist or globalism has become a very dirty word in America for some reason. Uh, so I wonder if that's part of it there. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I think lyrically it was fine. I, I don't know. It, to me, it's not one of their stronger lyrical outings, if you ask me. Uh, but it was fine for what it was. I give it a thumb up. Why not? Uh, I think the instrumentation is actually really where they shined here. Again, I loved that it was a much heavier sound than what I've heard from them recently. I think that was very enjoyable for me. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of heavy music. And they were no slouch here. The guitar, the drums, the bass was fantastic. And again, provided a nice heavy sound, easy to rock out to, really enjoyable to listen to, I will say. Matt Bellamy sounds great as always. Um, that little guitar solo was fantastic. Uh, I don't know what, what they were using there, like a keyboard or, or synthesizer or what, but there were some extra sounds in there that sounded good. I'm, I'm assuming because I think Matt plays both of those that it was uh, kind of funneled in, you know, through the PA or whatever. But, you know, it still sounded great. I, I think it added a nice uh, nice piece to the music. 
Um, but yeah, I think to me the highlight was that heaviness. Um, I was not expecting the heaviness of this song going in. I was expecting, you know, I was expecting if, if, if it was anything like the muse that I really like, I was expecting some good guitar work. So again, once that once that first guitar riff came in, I was like, okay, this is familiar territory again. I'm comfortable here. This is the kind of muse music that I'm probably going to enjoy. And sure enough, I did. So yeah, mad props to the guitar. Huge props to the um, the heaviness of the songs, all the instrument, uh, all the instruments coming together, uh, all the musicians really coming together, making very cohesive and, and good sounding songs. So for me, I think I got to give it two thumbs up in that department. It was just a really fun uh, song to listen to. Loved the heaviness. And with that being said, I would definitely listen to it again. I'm not entirely sure if this was released, I guess, as a studio version or if it's maybe a live version only. I'm not sure, but I would definitely listen to it again. Uh, with that being said, I want it to go on the playlist. I love the heaviness of it. Um, I can see myself really jamming out to this one, rocking out quite a bit. So um, I got to give it two thumbs up in the replay department. I'm definitely going to listen to this one again. I'm, I'm going to have a great time listening to it. I'm really going to enjoy the heaviness. Really going to enjoy the guitar as well throughout. I think that was, to me, the strongest piece. Love that that kind of weird guitar solo there at the end. It was very nice and very enjoyable. So a lot of great things to say about this one. This is the kind of muse that I like. Not propaganda. I'm sorry. Uh, but regardless, you know, two thumbs up for that. Uh, really just a very strong song all around. I really enjoyed listening to it. So as always, uh, if you would like to request something, this, as I mentioned, this was a request. If you would like to request something, please leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get to it. If you enjoyed the music, definitely go support the artist. Go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find plenty of muse at this point is in my Spotify playlist. It has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. It's a lot of music, guys. It's a lot of music. Um, if you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, like and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for your time. Hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Bye for now.